Prayer for the 2022 National and Local Elections Let us pray that the forthcoming National and Local Elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides our nation. For every petition, let us pray together, Deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord. From coercion, intimidation, violence, and terrorism. Deliver us, Lord. From dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth. Deliver us, Lord. From bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud. Deliver us, Lord. From gullibility to the deceptive and blindness of perspective. Deliver us, Lord. From threats, intimidation, and perverse language. Deliver us, Lord. Now let our response be, Hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord. That conscience may always be our ultimate norm. Hear us, Lord. That the common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord. That human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord. That the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord. That care for creation may never be ignored. Hear us, Lord. That solidarity may guide the path of peace and development. Hear us, Lord. That genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord. Let us pray. Shepherd of souls and Savior of the nations, politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others and grow in holiness. Guide our politics as you guide our lives. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, we come in this Eucharistic celebration in the spirit of prayer taught to us by our Lord Jesus Christ. And so, as we begin this celebration, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord, for his pardon and strength. Have mercy on us, O Lord. For we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. And grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Look upon your family, O Lord, that through the chastening effects of bodily discipline, our minds may be radiant in your presence with the strength of our yearning for you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, just as from the heavens the rain and the snow come down, and do not return there till they have watered the earth making it fertile and fruitful, giving seed to the one who sows and bread to the one who eats. So shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth. I shall not return to me void, but shall do my will, achieving the end for which I sent it. 
The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. From all their distress, God rescues the just. From all their distress, God rescues the just. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us together extol his name. I sought the Lord, and he answered me, and delivered me from all my fears. From all their distress, God rescues the just. Look to him, that you may be radiant with joy, and your faces may not blush with shame. When the poor one called out, the Lord heard, and from all his distress, he saved him. From all their distress, God rescues the just. The Lord has eyes for the just and ears for their cry. The Lord confronts the evildoers to destroy remembrance of them from the earth. From all their distress, God rescues the just. When the just cry out, the Lord hears them, and from all their distress, He rescues them. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted, and those who are crossed in spirit, He saves. From all their distress, God rescues the just. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, In praying, do not babble like the pagans who think that they will be heard because of their many words, do not be like them. Your Father knows what you need before you ask Him. This is how you are to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. If you forgive men their transgressions, your heavenly Father will forgive you. But if you do not forgive men, neither will your Father forgive your transgressions. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. This morning, my dear brothers and sisters, Jesus is presented to us as our master or teacher in prayer. And Jesus today teaches his disciples that prayer is not just expressive, but prayer is also im. Impressive. In our gospel reading today, when the disciples were being taught by Jesus how to pray, Jesus tells them and teaches them how to express their prayer in words. That is why Jesus taught them the Our Father. The prayer that until now, 
expresses our desires, our hopes, our needs. But after teaching them how to express their prayers in words, Jesus continued to remind them that if you pray to the Father to forgive your sins, then God also impresses on you and teaches you that you forgive others. You see, my dear brothers and sisters, prayer is not only expressing what you want, but prayer is also God transforming you into what He wants for you. Prayer is not only expressive, but this is also impressive. Sa pananalangin, hindi lamang po tayo nagsasalita at sinasabi natin ano ang kagustuhan natin. Kapag nananalangin tayo, kinakausap din tayo ng Diyos at binabago niya tayo sa pamamagitan ng kanyang biyaya. In our first reading today from the book of the prophet Isaiah, the Lord God reminds the people of Israel that He sends His Word to the earth so that His Word can fulfill what God wills, what God wants. Prayer is like that. God sending to us His grace so that His Word and His grace can fulfill what the Lord wills. Kaya po kapag mayroong nagpapapray over sa akin dito, nito pong mga nakaraang araw, maraming nagpapapray over na mga magbo-board exam sa medicine, sa dentistry. Kapag pinipray over ko po sila, hindi ko lang sinasabi sa Panginoon, Panginoon, ipasa niyo po sila sa exam. No? Hindi lang po yun ang laman ng aking dasal. Sinasabi ko din sa dasal ko, Panginoon, ipaalam niyo po sa kanila anong klasing doktor dapat sila. Ano ba ang gusto mo sa kanila? Kasi baka mamaya, ipanalangin kong ipasa ka sa pagiging doktor, eh hindi ka naman pala naging mabait na doktor at mabuting doktor. You see, my dear brothers and sisters, prayer is not just expressing what we want from the Lord. Prayer is also God transforming you into what God wants for you. Prayer is not only expressive, but it is also impressive. We express our desires to God but God impresses also to us His love, His grace, and His calling for all of us. Sana po mga binamahal na kapatid, sa pagpapatuloy ng ating pagdiriwang ng misa na ito, sabay-sabay po tayong nagdarasal tuwing misa. Sana po sa pagdarasal natin ngayong umaga ng sama-sama, hindi lamang tayo sabay-sabay nagsasalita at sinasabi sa Diyos ano ang gusto natin. Sana sa panalangin, alam din nating bumababa ang Diyos, nagsasalita sa atin at binabago niya tayo. Amen. Please stand. Christ has told us that we can call God our Father. So with firm hope, we present our petitions before Him. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. 
that the Church throughout the world may always express a deep trust in the coming of the Father's kingdom of love, justice, and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That amidst life's difficulties, we may not give up praying and never give in to temptations. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may have sufficient bread to meet our daily needs and the greatness of heart to forgive our enemies. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick and those who care for them may encounter God in their daily sacrifices. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all who are sick, especially those afflicted with COVID-19, and for those who care for them, may the vaccines and medicines, as well as our concern for each other, help end this pandemic. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our, our prayer, prayer. That the dead may meet the Lord face to face in His eternal home. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for listening to our petitions. Help us to trust always in your loving ways and to accept your will in our lives. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Creator, Almighty God, what we bring from your bountiful goodness and be pleased to transform this temporal sustenance you have given us, that it may bring us eternal life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks lord holy father almighty and eternal god for you have given your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts that freed from disordered affections they may so deal with the things of this passing world as to hold rather to the things that eternally endure. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end, we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. 
Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us now all together pray the prayer taught to us by our Lord Jesus Christ. Our, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, I am, am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. Grant us through these mysteries, Lord, that by moderating earthly desires, we may learn to love the things of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May your faithful be strengthened, O God, by your blessing. In grief, may you be their consolation. In tribulation, their power to endure. And in peril, their protection. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Amen.